Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Allen, and I am with International Security Training. Listen, we wanted to make a quick post about some of the things we've been seeing in the security industry, specifically in the door work area, nightclub security, bouncing, things like that, and also in concert security, and in the United States, specifically with the rap and hip-hop arenas. Most of the problems that we are seeing can be solved by properly trained security personnel. And we're going to talk about use of force incidents and liability. Liability that you have as a protection provider and what the client may also have. All right, let's look at our protection staff working events, whether it's a concert or anything else. We have to remember that your job is not to be a fan. You or your staff should never be dancing, taking selfies, at the concert, live streaming. I mean, how, how can you have both hands free if you got a phone in your hand, right? How can you have your eyes on the crowd if you're looking up at the entertainer dancing with them? So depending on where you're positioned, you will have an area of responsibility. And you always need to be asking yourself that one important question. And that is, who's trying to sneak by me? Now that might be they're trying to get behind the stage, trying to get a backstage pass. Maybe they're trying to jump on the stage and hug the entertainer. It doesn't matter. Who's trying to sneak past me? And then how do I pick up on the precursors there? I'm always looking at people's hands, looking at their facial expressions, looking in their eyes, and not like a staring contest or trying to mean mug people. I'm talking about what are they looking at? What are their intentions? And is their overall behavior congruent with a normal fan in that environment or is their behavior odd maybe you need to pay a little bit more attention to this person for a while now if we have to go hands-on with people we have to remember that there's always going to be a responsibility following that first of all some of these videos are nuts never throw someone off a stage and if someone does end up falling off a stage don't just walk away we have a duty to protect not just our client but also the patrons or the concert goers. So, if someone runs up in the stage towards your client, you should be able to just spin them off and bring them off the stage. Never throw people and never fight people. Like if you're working the door, don't kick the crap out of someone and then just go back inside. That's a liability nightmare. You have to remember that there is direct liability and also there is vicarious liability. For you, there's direct liability. In other words, if you get into a fight with someone and you, you can punch them one time, they fall back and hit their head. Like a video I saw recently, a person outside the venue bumped their head into a, a voting drop box and they died from that, not from the punch, from the fall. That security person was arrested and found guilty of several charges. Now, vicarious liability means that your client can be held financially responsible for your actions. So like some of the stage videos that this year has been horrible. I saw a video recently where a person jumped on stage and the security person just hit him like a defensive lineman. Knocked this guy off the stage, landed on his head. I swear to God, this body folded three different ways to Sunday. So if that's you, if you break someone's neck, you can go to jail or if somebody gets injured, maybe maybe you'll get lucky and they won't sue you. Maybe you just get fired. But now they go after the entertainer. Your job is supposed to protect these folks. Both their physical safety and, I guess, their financial safety, if you want to look at it that way. You should not be causing problems for your client that they have to pay for.